so they um, we we assigned them small projects that came directly out of our production line run for one of our next games, the Formula One game, and we assigned we had twelve interns, and six of them were assigned one particular task in terms of terrain development that were under the the tutelage of um, one of our lead artists, and they went through the process of of texturing the the tracks in that um, in that project, and every time what we've done is put them onto a production project for a few days or a couple of weeks, going through real production materials that will end up in the game, um, and then pull them back onto the the organised sequential training program. So they'll, they'll be jumping back and forth from production work for a week or two and then going into the training. So they're learning in the training, what they're learning is the theory and, and some of the hands-on for how games art development operates. And then they get pushed into the deep end to actually do a very specific project, which will only ex be exercising a few of their skills and developing their skills, but on a very, very deep level. And that was the difference really between the training program and then actually doing production to a schedule with a real world delivery under one of the lead artists here who's running the training for them on those areas. So they're back and forth in that way. Um, these uh, diploma graduates from Salayang and um, regardless of what their experience had been before, one of the things that we found was that they were very open to learning. They were uh, very positive and proactive about pursuing the learning process here, which was very, very refreshing and made for very, very um, accelerated learning process really compared to what we've seen before in some trainees. Some trainees come in with higher levels of experience, but they might not be so keen to learn things and these guys have been very good on that, that area. So they've, they've actually, with the jumping into these very complex, very deep production projects, They've, they've accelerated a lot faster than what we would have normally have expected. So the progress has been very good. The attitude's been great. Um, and they've got some great real world production experience out of this training program here in the studio. So, yeah, that's work based learning, WBL. When we started here, to be completely honest, we, we, we never did anything like this before to that scale. So there was a level of concern, you know, if, if we actually can deliver. A, training at a level that actually helps them and us but then quite quickly we were very positively surprised how well it actually worked and how hard they worked in their tasks um, which actually gave us a lot of confidence you know going forwards you know what kind of work we can um, you know assign to uh, the students and get a good result out of it and um, usually when we when we hire people that we really looking for like a years of experience and um, the positive thing about them is the students were relying on they didn't have the experience, but they kind of made up for it really by being very proactive, you know, very, uh, you know, easy to engage and very keen to work with the team and learn as much as they can from our experienced artist. So I think it was a very pleasant experience for everyone involved, and we do really hope that um, you know we can use the remaining four months they are here now, you know, to kind of push us again to the next level, and. Um, you know, keep this close relationship because I think the work-based learning program, uh, it, it's, you know, it's re really something which can transform someone who, who, who might would have stru struggled, um, you know, get finding employment once he graduates into someone who, you know, we, we hopefully, you know, can be part of the companies he would like to work for in the end. So they've got their own little pod department actually. Okay. Those ones over there who are sitting next to two production artists are in the environment. Oh, that wasn't quite the team, was physical it? space, okay. but they might be assigned different tasks from different, you know, mm -hmm. from different leads. Okay. So so far, what's happened? They've been assigned tracks, okay. tracks, tracks could take stream work. Mm -hmm. They've done um, asset work, which is vehicles, okay. big complicated vehicles to do unwrapping for that. And then some of them have been assigned tasks for the mobile game development for um, okay. doing those those graphics mm -hmm. that we saw before. So there's, there's different departments going on there. And these guys over this end, they're doing helmets for F1, mm -hmm. which is, I don't even know what department That's that comes characters. That's characters. That's characters. So there you go. So we've got characters, we've got assets, and we've got environments and terrains as well, you know, tracks, basically. 
Um, and then the next task will be the steering wheel upgrades for oh, Formula right. One 2015. So they, mm. that's a vehicle that's task, a vehicle. I guess, to some extent. Um, so they've, they've split around and now they've got their own, each pod, mm. uh, I think every one of the pods has got at least one or two production artists on the same pod with the, with the interns. Okay. So they're not segregated and separated out there. Yeah, they're, okay. they're integrated physically and in terms of the workflows with the actual production, art, production artists that's here. Between 12 of them, mm. any potential student that can go further into this industry? I would, suggest, I would suggest, in the industry, definitely, I would suggest all of them could. Wow. All of them you know, <laughs> they, they're going to need a lot of work. I mean, it's, 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 it's a lot of work to be a professional games artist on a AAA or next mm. generation level. Working to photorealism, that's a big, yeah. a lot of work. Um, and it's a, it's a big learning curve, but they've got a very, very good start so far. And I think the momentum that they're picking up, most of them, um, are, is going to help carry them to whatever else they do, whether they do more training here, or whether they get employment here, or employment somewhere else, or they decide to do something else. Um, they've got a very, very high speed start, that's for sure. Yeah. High speed start. Yeah, I think so. Then saya yakin bash ni akan menjadi satu bash yang semua orang akan ikut nanti. Sebab kalau you berjaya, the world is yours. Tapi jangan jangan malu nak tanya. I'm sure there are challenges, but keep asking and I'm sure Ivan and Andre and the team will assist you. Okay. So all the best and they will be coming to explain to Menteri Pendidikan dua di besok nanti. And kita nak program ni selayang tu. Hey, Sayang is the only college, well, four colleges that got six stars. They're one of the colleges mm. that has been rated yeah. six stars. <laughs> yeah? So uh, you have to be proud of where you come from. Because what we told them is it does not matter where they start, it's where they end. Right? <laughs> so hopefully with the exposure here, the knowledge that you gain, you gain enough confidence and you can produce quality work and uh, attitude. And of course, you will be employable anywhere you want, if you have the right aptitudes. The early release of Formula 1 2015, which is our very first next generation game, mm -hmm. um, you guys who have worked on it will have your names in the credits. Yeah. On the yeah. Game. So thank you when you get your copy of the game, or when people see to buy the copy of the DVD games, your name will be in that list. Yeah. We just had a look at the list actually, you'll see them and say, there you go, there they are. Alongside everybody else who works on the game, so that's an absolute first for Codemasters. It's the first next generation game. It's the first early six months early release of the Formula One. And it's the first time we've ever put trainees on this production work and getting credited on the game. So your next credited item on your resume will be, I worked on Formula One Next Gen 2015. So congratulations. Okay. Apa uh, Ivan tunjuk, Andre tunjuk nama-nama, semua nama pelajar tu uh. yang akan keluar dalam box nanti tu. Uh, bukan senang eh. No, not everybody can get that opportunity and you have proven your effort to be put on on the box. And we will tell this sebab tadi I was told nak gen the first generation pun 20 juta nak produce. Bukan 20 ringgit lah, 20 juta <laughs> yeah, untuk produce one game tu. And it is very complex. So once again, I'm, I'm proud of all of you and hopefully this training will be further enhanced and gain, you gain more confidence. Lebih yakin. Yang penting jangan malu, jangan segan. Tapi uh, kerjasama tu, sama-sama sendiri 12 orang ni kena, kena sentiasa bercakap. Kadang-kadang yeah? masing-masing ada cabaran orang muda ni. But keep be punctual, libatkan diri dan jangan malu tanya. Okay? So selamat maju jaya and hope to see you in your graduation with the diploma from in conjunction with Code Master UK. Itu nak apa? Or New Zealand or whatever. Eh? Let's just throw my country away. Okay, so saya 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 ucapkan terima kasih dan we will be collaborating. That insyaallah banyak lagi kita nak buat. Tapi sebagai pioneer, you have to show that you deserve the, the the space and the place and we are not going to waste people's time dari segi itulah ya yeah? so so far nampak nampak semua semua okey ada penyesuaian tapi tak apa tak ada masalah itu itu part of learning process
Okay So Ni 12 orang Ni 19 lagi tak tahu Jadi saya I hope that you have the opportunity juga To call one or two of your Student ni Cakap dari 19 Apa expectation when you come in Ya yeah? Bukan boleh senang-senang kan Ada yang tadi given some complicated project And you manage to do it So that shows that The process I even said was Some of you are put in the deep end Yang susah Jadi lepas tu dapat selesaikan Then back back to training for three months Itu industri punya training And if you can cope with that Then you are on the right track Okay So once again thank you And we'll keep in that Terima kasih Thank you very much To all the Diploma Games Art students of Selayang Community College, I'm wishing you the best of luck in your future career. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Nama saya Muhammad Syazan bin Muhammad Noor. Saya salah seorang pelajar Kolej Komunikasi Selayang dalam bidang uh, Diploma Games Art. Nama saya Siti Nasalam Tayo. Saya berada di Codemaster Studio sebagai internship student ataupun work-based learning student. Uh, saya di, diletakkan dalam uh, jawatan CG artis Ataupun computer graphic artis Saya ni saya adalah pelajar tahun akhir bagi semester 5 dan semester 6 Kulis 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 Layang Sekarang ni saya hampir 6 bulan berada di sini Pemula pada bulan pertama kami didahkan dengan Lebih pada fundamental Ataupun artistic consideration Mengikut pada syllabus mereka uh, Kebanyakannya mereka bermula pada bawah Mereka tidak bermula pada Terus-terus uh, berada di tahap yang profesional Tidak Pengalaman yang paling berharga Yang tidak dapat saya lupakan uh, Apabila saya dipilih, uh, dipilih Menjadi salah seorang di production Untuk menghasilkan game F1 Yang bakal dilancarkan Jun 2015 Terdapat persamaan di antara Silivers College Komuniti Selayang Dan Silivers di Codemaster Di mana mereka bermula daripada bawah iaitu fundamental ataupun artistic consideration banyak pengalaman yang saya dapat di sini antaranya selepas 2 bulan berada di sini saya mula didedahkan dengan kerja-kerja produksi antara kerja pertama yang saya dapat buat iaitu uh, dirt, dirt rally kemudian selepas uh, berada dalam dirt team sekarang ni saya telah diserap secara tetap dalam F1 team iaitu sponsor placement team di bawah Adam Bedham jadi sekarang ni uh, berkemungkinan besar saya akan uh, habiskan sepanjang ataupun baki lagi 2 bulan sepanjang baki lagi 2 bulan saya akan habiskan dalam sponsor team F1 apabila berada di dalam salah sebuah keluarga Codemaster Studio yang telah dikenali lebih daripada 9 tahun uh, saya amat bangga kerana bukan mudah untuk berada pada tahap seperti mereka ini kerana kerja keras kerja keras dan usaha yang mereka habiskan selama ni kami dapat rasa sebagai seorang pelajar saya dapat rasa semua tu macam mana uh, keluarga ini dibina macam mana kerja-kerja yang mereka lalui macam mana produksi yang mereka jalankan jadi di situ orang kata pengalaman yang pelajar harus ambil dan pelajar harus ambil itibar sebab bukan mudah untuk berjaya Program kooperasi WBL antara Kolej Komuniti Selayang dengan Kodemaster harus diteruskan kerana ia banyak memberi faedah dan peluang kepada kami. Saya berharap uh, pihak Kolej Komuniti Selayang dan Kodemaster Studio dapat meneruskan kolaborasi kerana ia akan memberi satu impak yang sangat besar kepada pelajar-pelajar uh, yang bakal masuk ke dalam diploma Gamesat. Selain itu, pelajar dapat meningkatkan Kemahiran dalam bidang kerjaya yang diceburi. <SILENCIO>